What's up, what's up, boys? Thrills, here in the house, setting off. And as I say, back in the house, we are back at Forestdale Lane, back in Douglasville, Georgia. Done with the Vegas excursion. For tomorrow, we leave. And by we, I mean B, Ryan, and myself, we leave for Cayman and Jamaica. So you will not be hearing from us on the message board very much, boys. <laughs> Shed a tear now. Shed a tear now. But we are here to start week 13. Week 12 in the past was a great week. I watched afar from Vegas as you guys are messaging up on the board. It's like 3 a.m. over where I'm staying, 4 a.m. in the morning. So I really appreciate those early morning cup of joe comments and everything when you guys are ranting and raving at 8 a.m. when it's 5 a.m. where I'm at. So kudos to you. Really appreciate it. But really appreciate it. I mean, that was uh, if I need to gamble anyways. It had been like three and a half hours since I'd gambled in the first place. So, you know, I, I kind of do appreciate you waking me up. But anyways, all right, let's talk about week 12. If I'm not mistaken, I was 4-2. and two. I made the picks on the fly, didn't get to watch my video, didn't have my piece of paper to really chart what I had, but I'm pretty sure I was 4-2 and two, with the only losers being Al Avila and uh, B. Ryan. So those two guys really let me know. And I think everybody else came through like I expected, so kudos to me. Repping uh, the Atlanta Hawks in recognition of Trey Young coming to town. Going to be our next Steph Curry. We'll see how that plays out. I'm not convinced of it yet, but we'll see. I'm going to try to keep my head in between this light that's in the background because otherwise you get a wicked glare, and I know everybody wants to see this mug right in their face for the next oh, 10 to 12 minutes. All right, guys, so um, throughout the show today, you're going to see a little new thing I've added while the music is playing. I want you guys to kind of play along at home. I hope you enjoy it. It's a little three-question quiz. Keep you on your toes. Answers at the end. We'll see how it goes. Um... First up, let's go ahead and talk about our matchups for week 13. Um, we got a bunch of teams right now sitting at 5 and 7, 6 and 6, 6 and 5, 7 and 5. Um, things are starting to level out a little bit. Benson Harbor has really taken a lead. He's got a two game lead for best record in all of the league right now over Anthony and uh, Charlie's Angels right now. Uh, if it stay, if it wins this week, will it increase? Will it stay the same? Um, if he loses this week, what's going to happen? So we're going to find that out later today. But let's go ahead. Let's talk about our matchups. All right, first up, let's go ahead and talk about um, T-Ball and Los Mexis. A couple guys that don't get talked about a lot. T-Ball played yours truly last week, Trader Will. And I got to say, he did not put up much of a fight. From Jump Street, it was 16-1, to 15-1. to 1. Didn't really have much of a chance. So T-Ball, really sorry about putting you down, man. You were kind of quiet on the message board this week. That was kind of a bummer. Hopefully you're doing stuff. Hopefully you're just enjoying that Putin and... Uh, the soon legalization of a certain you know what. Maybe spend some time with your wife, pops, watching some Jays games. I don't know. I'll be cheering for the Jays, not this week, because I think they're playing the Strohs. Go down and check some of the Alex Bregman action out. Maybe a little Jose Altuve. Um, Los Mexis. I mean, damn, when this guy's not in the league um, talking smack, he's on the lake catching Loch Ness Monsters, catching uh, those three-eyed fish from the Simpsons. Probably going to be on, uh, what's that movie with uh, George Clooney? Deadliest Catch? No, it's a TV show. But you guys know what I'm talking about. I had George Clooney, I had Mark Wahlberg, I had somebody else. They were up in the Northeast Atlantic Ocean out of Boston um, catching some fish. I never saw it, didn't really care for that kind of style of movie. I don't really care for George Clooney. But Los Mexis, he's doing some damn work out of there on the pond, man. I don't know what kind of bait he's using. I use just regular night crawlers and worms, um, and I catch fish this big. Whatever he's using, he's catching fish that are at the extent of this table, and this table's eight yards. Probably some things, this hawk. Probably those, those, He's probably hunting with the hawk that was on my damn back porch over the week while I was going. But uh, anyways, enough chit-chat. Los Mexis, you're winning this week. You're in a 6-7, and seven, one game closer to 500. T-Ball, you're, you're falling to 3-10, and 10, but that's what happens when you're a rookie GM, man. You can't expect to be a rookie and just overtake this league. Uh, Gainesville Steve is finding that out right now as he's fallen on hard times recently. Los Mexis, you're going to pick it back up, get a 6-7. and T-Ball, you're going to fall to 3-10, and 10, my friend. All right, so next up, uh, we're going to talk about a little brotherly matchup here. You really got to know your enemy, and nobody knows an enemy better than a brother. So here's your first trivia question. Complete this equation. Time spent by Dr. K. Gaiman. Time spent by the B-Ryan Express watching Triple X videos. Greater than, less than, or equal to. Let's find out. Ba -na 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 -na. Rage Against the Machine, crushing it, know your enemy. Dr. K, Chuck Nasty, been brothers all their lives, so they know one another inward, outward. They've probably seen each other's dingles countless times, probably spanked each other in the ass whoosh, whoosh, with a wet towel, who knows how many times. But uh, that's probably like 175, you know, they've been brothers for as long as they've both been alive. Probably snapping towels since they were five. 
If uh, Springfield Elementary Math teach me anything, it's a million. Um, so, um, Dr. K versus Chuck Nasty. Chuck Nasty, offense really showed out this week. But that's what has to happen for him to win. If his offense isn't showing out, he ain't doing anything. Uh, pitch the staff still just abysmal. Mike Clevenger, he's helping out. Maybe the return of A.J. Pollock, who they're telling us about Jared Dyson, is helpful. I don't know. But uh, Chuck Nasty, you pulled out a dub this week. I don't even know how. Your ERA was 49999732 times pi. Um, but you still beat Savdog, still a lower ERA than him. Your offense crushed with like 130 total bases, give or take. And uh, Paul Goldschmidt's really coming around. But that's not going to be enough to take down Ben. Ben's team has a guy named Mike Trout. Mike Trout doesn't get out. That's his new motto. I'm Mike Trout. I don't get out. I take a walk. Uh, I got nothing else because I'm white. But, uh, Dr. K, you're going to pull out a dub this week. You're going to go to 10-3. and three. 13, game, 13 weeks into the year, you're 10-3. and three. You've only lost three times. And one of those teams being a T-ball. Don't think T-ball. Anybody else going to let you forget about that. Chuck Nasty, you stay strong, but it's not going to help you out here. I got to say that I see Dr. K pulling out a dub this week. All right, next up on our matchups, we got a little pup. Pick up the pace versus Long Ballers. Now, Long Ballers, his all, finally, his winning streak came to an end six games. I can't believe it's been going on that long. Back to 500. It took playing the first place team in the league to knock him down, and it's still a close battle to the death. Uh, Reimart's team apparently is something to be reckoned with right now. He's doing some solid work right now with Carlos Carrasco. I think he has Chris Sale. So when Chris Sale's throwing seven innings and at the last pitch is still 100 miles an hour, he's doing some damn work, doing the damn thing, do, do, doing the damn thing. Uh, Pup, on the other hand, he got by B. Green, B. Ryan, pretty easily, I think. B. Green said he was leading the whole week. I didn't know he was leading the whole week. Um, I guess some errors can be made here or there when you're, you know, th the man like the reals. You know, I do some things that I tell you accurate all the time. Um, but this week I'm going to be accurate in thinking that um, Pup is going to lose. Pup, you went up to first place. You were happy about being in first place. It's over. One week, you're back. That division is so up, down, up, down, up, down. I never know what's going to happen. Who's going to be in first place from week to week? I really like the intensity of their back and forth they have going on. But long ballers, you're going to pick up the win this week, and you're going to get back to over 500 at 7-6. and six. Code Nobs, you're going to fall to 6-6 six and six, unless Trey Turner can really pull some more magic out his ass, maybe whip me a fair to play some games, and maybe Kyle Schwarber um, continues to maybe act like he knows how to play baseball and bat over 250. And by continues, I mean starts too. So, Pup, I don't see you pulling out the dub this week. I see Long Ballers taking back the division. Is that foreshadowing? I don't know. But, Long Ballers, you're getting a dub there. All right, so we're going to take a pause for a moment. And we're back with our next matchup here. We're going to be talking about Al Avila versus Wakanda Forever. These two arch nemesi back and forth it all the time. So as I think about them, enough, there's no shelter from them. So let's look at our next question here. What's the combined winning percentage of Al Avila and Wakanda Forever? Is it A, over 600 winning percentage? Do they B, have an over 500 winning percentage? C, is it between 4 and 500? Or D, is it less than a 400 combined win percentage for these two motor mouse? Answers to come at the end. But anyways, this week's matchup of these two teams features one that has been on fire recently, and that is Wakanda Forever. Anthony Matthews is he finally in year 12 starting to validate his claims that maybe he knows what he's doing in this fantasy league. I don't know. Savdog, on the other hand, I don't know what to say about Sav Dog, man. It seems like one time, oh, man, he's got a roll and he's got a rock and he's got a roll he's going to do something. And then Sunday comes and his team is two for 59 and he can't do shit for shit. It's like his team's just like, oh, you know what? I played six games. I'm pretty good. Six out of seven ain't too bad. And his whole team just takes Sunday off. I mean, it's, it's uncanny. I saw it today with my own two peepers and I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. But uh, I think it's going to continue this week for Al. Al, you lost this week to a worse team than Wakanda forever, and it's going to continue. Wakanda, you're on a roll. you still got Max Scherzer. you got an offense that is doing some major work, even though you're putting Derek Dietrich on the bench when he needs to be starting. I don't understand it. You were talking about him. you got awesome Keith Hernandez as your shortstop. Keep riding that lucky-ass bastard, and uh, keep doing what you do, except for win. I'd really like Al Avila to win, but I'm going to go with my head instead of my heart. And I think that Wakanda Forever is going to pull out a dub this week, and he's going to go to 8-5, and five, and he might actually be the team that's putting the most heat on Benson, and that's going to make Benson <laughs> <laughs> chuckle mightily, chuckle mightily. All right, our next matchup. We're talking about one, B. Ryan Express versus Charlie's Angels. B. Ryan coming off a heart-crushing defeat to Code Nobs. Steve coming off an even worse loss to a team that hadn't really done much this year in Los Mexis. Uh, 
Is it going to be a matchup that we want to watch and pay attention to a lot? Not really. Steve's not much of a talker on the message board. He's more of a messenger and more of a follow along mother of doer, keeping up, riding us out, giving us his awesome musings each week. B. Ryan normally talks a lot, but he's going to be quiet on the message board. This week's going to be out of the country, out of service range. So it's going to be nice hush. We're just going to get to see two teams kind of battle without any back and forth going on. I can't recall any time that's really happened in this league. So that's going to be interesting to see some non-talk going on for a matchup. Wait until Saturday for somebody to come out and be like, oh, I'm doo in my pants. Uh, side note on that, Steve. Hope you had a good time up here in the A. I don't know how many times you've been to Atlanta. Hope you enjoyed SunTrust for being the first time. It's an awesome park. Unfortunately, you brought the, uh, that's what happens when out-of-towners come to Atlanta for the first time. Ala J.D. Drew, Gary Sheffield, those players. Offense just disappears. You came to town, the Braves' offense disappeared, pitching disappeared. They played like garbage for the first two games against the Orioles. And uh, I blame you for not being in Gainesville or not be, for, for Gator luck because we lost to Texas too. So, God damn, I mean, not, we didn't lose to Texas, excuse me. We lost to crap-ass Arkansas. That's even worse. So, Steve, I kind of put both. You need to shoulder the blame on this one, man, for the Gators and the Braves this week. So, buddy, this one's on you. But it's going to get better because you're going to win this week. B. Ryan, we're going to be traveling together for the next five days, stuck in a tiny room all together, but it's not going to matter. Charlie's Angels, he's pulling out the dub this week. So, Charlie's Angels, this one's for you, man. And on that note, we're going to take our second break of the day. And we're back here with one of our final matchups of the evening, if not the final one indeed. And this is going to be Strokes versus Trader Will. Trader Will been a bit of a roll recently. And he's looking to, as Rage might say, take the power back. So here's the third question. Which is greater? The number of times Trader Will and Jay Cog been blazed up in life versus the correct answer to number one. Is it a greater number of times? A less number of times? Or an equal number of times versus hours? What do you guys think the correct answer is? Bam. We're talking about Rage. We're talking about taking the power back. And this song right here made me change my entire vote for this matchup. Originally, I picked Strokeswood, Paul to dub this week. I expected him to go to 7-5-1. and one. I expected me to fall back to 6-7. and seven. But this song just got me so hyped, got me so woo lit, as the kids might say, that I think Trader Will is going to go three weeks in a row with a dub, and I think he's going to get over 500 for the first time since he was 2-1. and one. Trader Will, I think you're going to pull out a dub, even though Strokeswood offense has been freaking phenomenal, even though... Ran into a buzzsaw on Anthony last week. Strokes, you would have beat every other team except Anthony. I looked it up, and it's facts. That's hashtag real news. Trader Will, he would have beat most other teams except probably Strokes and Anthony. So that's how the cookie crumbles in these situations. Trader Will, though, he's going to 7-6. and six. Strokes, would, he's going to 7, excuse me, 6-6-1. Six and six and one. He's going from first to last in a matter of two weeks. At least that's what I'm hoping for here. So Trader Will... He's going to pull out a dub this week. Dr. K is pulling out a dub. B. Ryan's pulling out a dub. Pup's pulling out a dub. Wakanda's pulling out a dub. And Los Mexis is pulling out a dub. That's going to do it for this week's matchup preview show. I told you the answers are going to be coming at the end of the show, but we're not quite there yet. Before we leave, I want to give you my top five. This week's top five is going to center on the message board. In the message board, we have five levels of chatters. We have the oh, first level of chatter. We have the people that don't really talk. We have the silent. We have the... Mm. Then the fourth level. We have the murmur. We call them almost a murmur in the distance. We don't really know what to expect out of them. If they come up with something, that's great. If not, nah, you know, we take it or leave it. Number three. That, that's, that, that's making those quality points. That's the person that's typing on there, making those quality points. And you're like, oh, well, that, you know, that's something I didn't think about. I appreciate that. That's a cool photo. Oh, man, that's pretty awesome right there. Speaking of cool photos, this is the baseball that one Pete Rose signed for my father right there. It says, Bill, a great fan, Pete Rose, 426-4256. Number of hits he had right there. That's pretty awesome. That's why I got my dad for Father's Day. If anybody knows where I can get a cool thing to put it in to uh, send it, I'd appreciate any advice there. Uh, number two. Yeah, man, I'm going to need to silence my phone on this one. Those are those people that they're just talking, talking, you're like, you know what? i, I got to put this on. Notifications, off until further notice. That's what those people do to us right there. And then lastly, these people are the ones that make me do this. The ones where I just sit there and think, I can't believe... I can't believe you don't shut up. I can't believe you don't shut up. Just like a post said, I can't believe you don't shut up. Please stop talking. My phone is going off non-stop, my friend. That's my top five. So I appreciate you guys watching this week. It's going to be posted ASAP. It'll be up before the Cup of Joe. Ben, suck a doodle doodle. Right there, correct answers. Number one, 
A, definitely B green more. B, quiet for number two. Answer is C. They didn't win shit for shit. They have a 35% combined winning percentage. 100, 171, and 15. Check those numbers. 100 wins out of 286 com competitions. That is a sorry winning percentage from Alavila and Wakanda. And lastly, number of times Blaze versus number of times played video games. Uh, obviously, number of times Blaze was greater by any stretch of the imagination. Put it up against anything. Number of times Blaze is going to be number one. So that's going to do it for this week, boys. I'll be in Jamaica for the week. I'll be in Cayman. Hopefully, you guys have fun up here. Stay fun. Benson, enjoy your hashtags on the break. Thrills. Let's close this out so I'm on some more rage. I was really crushing that. You guys want some rage? Peace.